Well, one of the sea captains that I sailed with for many years was from Nebraska, and he said growing up on a farm was a very good way of being prepared for going to sea. Because the scenery doesn't change that much, it's kind of flat, it may undulate a little bit, and you get horrible weather from time to time. My name's Jeff Benson, and my job title is an instrumentation engineer. I'm also the team leader for the sensors and moorings group here. We have 500 to 700 people at the Oceanography Center here in Southampton. 300 to 400, I believe, are students, and the rest are staff. So here we run the National Marine Equipment Pool. I look after the instruments for the scientists, and we have in our group about 2,000, maybe 2,500 different types of instruments that researchers and scientists can use to complete their studies. The Oceanography Center has two research vessels, the James Cook and the Discovery. The last trip I went on that was called RAPID. This is a climate change study. It's a series of deep ocean and continental shelf moorings that stretch from across the Atlantic, 26 degrees north, and at various locations, and various instruments at various depths on these moorings collect data for the 12 months to 18 months that they're out there. It's basically studying the Gulf Stream current. When you get too much fresh water, then that changes the density. Too much fresh water is from polar regions, the Arctic and Antarctic melting the ice. And that fresh water with a less density means that the top layer of water cannot sink as much as it used to. So this slows down the currents, which makes the Gulf Stream perhaps a lot weaker. And that the Gulf Stream is what gives us our fairly temperate weather here in the United Kingdom. We don't want the United Kingdom to turn, turn into something with a climate either like uh, the equator where it's very, very hot or like Siberia where it's very, very cold and we need to keep the Gulf Stream going, which means we have to control the melting of the ice caps as much as we can. To tell whether something is a long-term change or whether it's just a seasonal variation can be difficult, but one way to do that is to repeat the experiments over and over again for a number of years. The rapid mooring array has been going on for 12 years and we change the instruments and collect the data every 12 months to 18 months. And the reason for doing that is to make sure that we have a baseline that goes over a longer period of time. These are some of the instruments that we put on here and these, this is quite an important one. One of the things we have to do with these is we have to service them when they're recovered, that you change the batteries out and check the O-rings, look for corrosion, do any upgrades to the, um, the circuitry involved. So this research is important because it tells us what is happening over time with the current and it impacts on climate change. And it's more impetus, if you will, for governments around the world to do something about climate change. I like my job a lot. I mean, I think it's the best job in the world. I've been to places that very few people in the world have been. I've seen things that very few people in the world have seen. And, and I've met some amazing people as well.